welcome to Gentle Yoga. My name is Catherine. Today we are going to need a chair and a yoga blanket or maybe a towel. Um, we'll begin sitting on the chair. Just sitting up nice and tall. Come away from the back of the chair, uh, placing your feet on the floor. And just check to see that the heels are underneath the knees. We're gonna work on uh, in, uh, increasing our breath depth today. So uh, the capacity to fully exhale and the capacity to fully take a breath in. So first we're just gonna check out how are we breathing today? How's it going? So if it helps you to close your eyes or look at the floor, feel free to do that and just check in. What is the quality of your breath? Inquiring, what is the length of the inhale? And how does it compare to the length of the exhale? We don't have to change anything, just noticing. And notice what parts of your body move as you inhale. And what parts move as you exhale. And then place your hands on top of your heart, stacking one on top of the other, and just acknowledging whatever experiencing experiences you're currently having with your breath with your mind, with your body, and just welcome it all here now. Everything's welcome. And now we'll slide our hands down to our belly. And I'd like you to really invite the belly to soften. And as you inhale, expand the belly into your hands. And as you exhale, guide the breath out by drawing the belly towards the spine, pressing every little bit of breath out. Inhaling, soft belly expands into hands. Exhale, nice and smooth as you guide the breath out with the help of the contraction of your tummy towards the spine. Nice and easy. I keep breathing like that. And I'd like to begin class by reading um, a quote from a book my dear friend Marissa Knox wrote. Um, it's called Grace and Possibility. So um, grace is an acronym uh, she uses to return to this moment in uh, a whole spectrum of ways. So this is G. She says, begin by grounding in the grace of gratefulness. Wherever you are, however you feel, rest in knowing that your being is a miracle. This moment is full of mystery. And there is magic in what you feel, say, and do. Allow gratitude to be a flow of giving and receiving with each breath. Breathing in, you are receiving the miracle of life the miracle of abundant possibilities, the miracle of all that you are. Breathing out, offering gratefulness. Breathing in, you are intimate with the mystery of life, the mystery of possibilities, the mystery of what will unfold. Breathing out, offering gratefulness. Take two more rounds of belly breathing, expanding belly on the inhale and contracting belly gently as you exhale, really evacuating the lungs. Good, and then lift 
your gaze or open your eyes. And you're gonna come to scoot towards the edge of the chair and walking the feet a little bit forward. I'd like you to have your heels just a little bit in front of the knees in the seated position. You'll notice again, my back is away from the chair. On an inhale, you're gonna sweep your arms up, reach up. On the exhale, dive forward, heart comes forward, folding over the thighs, arms can either come to rest on the sacrum, stacking palms up or just alongside uh, either side of the seat of the chair, whatever is accessible for you. Inhale, reaching back up, filling the breath, uh, the body with breath and exhaling, hinging from your hip crease, heart, belly to thighs, folding over, maybe stacking palms on the back of the low back, the sacrum. Keep moving with your breath like this. Let it be like a meditation. Really consciously uh, exhaling, drawing the breath, breath out, feeling yourself fold as you breathe out. As you inhale, drawing the breath in, inviting the mystery of this moment, of possibility of life. Exhaling gratefulness gratitude. Keep moving. Stay strong in the legs as you do so. Let's do about six more of these, nice and slow. And then as you finish with your sixth round, we'll just exhale, release the hands to the thighs and just notice the rhythm and pace of the breath now. Good, come on up to stand. We're gonna use the chair to do a modified version of downward dog. So I invite you to bring the chair uh, to have the First two legs at the top edge of your mat. Hands will come onto the seat of the chair. Bend those knees as you walk your feet back, rooting down through the heels. And I invite you to keep the knees bent here so we can focus on broadening the chest. Sometimes the muscles in between the ribs get really tight and um, it causes more difficulty taking a breath in. And so we're just seeing, can we get some nice Length in the spine, maybe a little bit more broadness in the chest by keeping those knees bent just a little bit. Toes and knees are pointing straight forward, thighs are parallel. And then start to pedal the feet. So straightening one leg and then the other. You can do this with the breath, the exhale, one leg straightens. One knee bends, the inhale, transition. Exhale, opposite leg straightens, one knee bends. Inhale, transition. Once more on either side, moving to the rhythm of your breath. And then now you have a choice here. You can either uh, root down through both heels, maybe start to straighten the knees, uh, bring a deeper stretch in the backs of the legs, or uh, you can bring your fingertips to the floor and come into a forward fold. Here I'd like you just to simply deepen the back of the leg stretch in a way that feels accessible and breathable to you. 
If you're in a forward fold, gaze at the knees to keep the back of the neck long. If you're in the, the downward dog variation, you just look at the mat. We'll all take about two more rounds of breath here. Weight in the heels. Nice. If you're in the forward fold, you can bend those knees and slowly roll up. Downward dog, you just walk forward and come on up. And coming on up to standing position. Mountain pose. So your feet will be at a, about a fist width distance apart, toes and kneecaps pointing forward. Arms alongside the body, slightly spiral your inner thighs towards each other and then back behind you. They're kind of like spinning back behind you. Your feet are gonna stay glued to the mat. And then lengthen your tailbone down as you suck the low belly in and up. With an inhale, reach your arms up overhead. With an exhale, arms come alongside the body. Let's do that twice more. Inhaling, receiving life. Exhaling, gratitude. Gratitude for all that's given. Good, and then uh, one more in time, inhaling up overhead. Let's take a side bend to our right. So holding on to left wrist with right hand. Keep twirling inner thighs towards each other, towards the wall back behind you to stay very strong and engaged in the leg, active, active in the pelvic floor, low belly pulling in. Let's take two more breaths here. Maybe even leaning the head and the heart back a little bit to deepen the stretch. And then inhale, come on back up again. Second side. Next inhale, side bend left. Stay rooted equally in both feet. Spiraling inner thighs towards the wall behind you as you lengthen your tailbone down, low belly pulling up, maybe leaning head and heart back. On the next two breaths as we pause here, uh, exhaling out gratitude for something, something specific, maybe the roof over your head, in water. And then inhale, come on back up again and release the arms down. Let's roll the shoulders a few times, both directions. And then bring your fingertips to your shoulders and we're gonna do big circles with our elbows. So circling the elbows down and see if maybe they can get to touch in front of you and then up. And as they come up, if you can, moving towards having wrists touch back behind you, only if you can. Or you're just moving that direction then you circle back down again. So um, please do whatever is accessible to you today. That's kind of the direction you're moving. Don't have to have those elbows touch or wrists touch, touch as you do this. I would like you to keep spinning your inner thighs towards each other and back behind you, rooting down through the feet and drawing your navel in to support the movements of the shoulders. And then we'll go the other direction. We'll link it with the breath, inhaling, elbows up, Exhaling elbows down and forward and down. Inhaling back and up. Exhaling forward and down. A few more times. Try to keep your head and heart aligned. And then releasing the arms down alongside the body. Inhale, arms halfway up, so the wrists are in line with the shoulders. Then bend the elbows so that your fingertips are pointing towards each other. We're gonna move into some twists with the breath, and I encourage you to not let the entire body move in the twist. Like, try to keep your hips um, and 
your hips facing forward and you're moving from uh, an engaged core, the belly, heart, uh, and head up. So wrists and elbows in a line. On an exhale, extend your right arm out to the right and twist. On an inhale, come on back out of it, bending the elbow. Exhale, left arm extends back behind you. Twist. Inhale, come on out. Keep moving with your breath. Eyes can follow the arm that's reaching out and back. The exhale is the twist. The inhale is coming out of it. Let's do that once more on either side. Good, exhale, release the arms. Notice the quality of your breath. Good, we're gonna do some half sun salutations. Um, so we're gonna be going forward and out. Please feel free to go as slow as you need to go if you have vertigo um, or this you know, makes you dizzy. But beginning in mountain pose, on an inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, slightly bend the knees as you swan dive. Heart comes forward, fingertips touching the floor or maybe a block if you need. On the next inhale, sweep the arms out to the side, reach back up again, arms up overhead at the top of the inhale. Again, exhale, knees slightly bend, diving down. Gaze at your knees at the bottom of the breath. On the inhale, feel the strength of your arms as you reach back up towards the sky. Good, keep moving with your breath. So a modification of this would be if you don't wanna keep going up and down, if it's too much, you might stay uh, two or three breaths in a forward fold and two or three breaths in arms up overhead. I'd like you to really pay attention to your exhale as you dive forward helping this movement evacuate the body of all breath. Whatever you're doing, we'll take three more rounds. And we'll finish in mountain pose. Take two or three breaths in mountain pose. Good. Go ahead and take a wide stance. Have your feet a, a little bit wider than your shoulder width distance apart. Take a look at your toes. Please turn your toes to the right. So the right toes are pointing towards the top edge of your mat. Your back heel is swinging towards the back edge of the mat. And you've got kind of an internal spiral of the back leg. That's your left one, internally spiraling. That uh, right leg is slightly externally spiraling to help that toe stay out. We're gonna do a variation, kind of somewhere between, it's like a variation of triangle pose. So to begin, you're going to sweep your right arm up overhead with an inhale. And with an exhale, slightly bend your right knee. Right hand taps down in front of the right knee. Left arm reaches back behind you. Let's come back out of it. Inhale, straighten both legs. Right arm reaches up. Let's try that again. Exhale, bend right knee, right arm down, left arm reaches back, kind of to help rotate the heart to the left as you're here. Inhale, come out of it. 
legs are straight. Moving on, exhale, bend right knee. Left arm reaches back behind you. Now stay here. As you inhale, left arm, bicep over uh, ear. Exhale, left arm out to the left. Let's try that again. Inhale, left arm, bicep by ear. Exhale, left arm reaching back behind you. Good, inhale, straighten the legs, reach that right arm up. Let's put it all together, I'll guide you through it. The next exhale, right hand taps down, right knee bends. Inhale, left bicep over ear. Exhale, left arm reaches to the back of the mat. Inhale, straighten the legs, right arm reaches up. That was one. Let's do about three more. Exhale, right knee bends, back arm reaches. Inhale, bicep by ear, feel the stretch of the left ribs. Exhale, left arm reaches back. Inhale, straighten legs, reach right arm up. Big, strong reach. Exhale, right knee bends. Reach back. Stay here. Inhale, left bicep over ear. Exhale, reaching back. Inhale, beginning position, reach. Good. Exhale, release. Pivot toes towards the left. We'll do the second side. Just take a moment setting it up from the, the floor up, left toes pointing towards the back edge, right heel reaching back behind you, kind of right toes are turning and that's gonna facilitate the internal spiral of that right leg, the right thigh in particular, left thigh, slightly externally spiral. That's what's gonna help the left knee keep opening out as you bend it. So to begin, left arm reaches up, inhale, Exhale, bend left knee, reach right arm back behind you, kind of reaching it back to rotate the heart. Let's try that again. Inhale, leg straight, left arm up. Exhale, left knee bends. Inhale, leg straighten, reach up. And we'll move on. Exhale, left knee bends, right arm reaches out. We'll pause here. Inhale, right bicep by ear, feel the stretch in the ribs. Exhale, reach that right arm out. Let's try uh, just that last move one more time. Inhale, bicep by ear. Exhale, reach it out. And then inhale, let's come all the way back Beginning position. Okay, we got it down. Let's do it three times. Exhale, left knee bends, right arm reaches back, maybe a twist. Inhale, right arm reaches bicep over ear. Exhale, right arm reaches back. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Both legs are straight now. That's one, two more. Exhale, left knee bends. Inhale, bicep to ear. Exhale, previous position. Inhale, leg straighten, beginning position, last one. Good, go ahead and pivot the toes forward. Inhale, reach the arms up. And then exhale, let's just take a fold. Fingertips to the floor, please grab a block if you need it. Gaze between the legs and slightly turn the toes in, swing the heels out, reaching your thigh bones back behind you. Take a couple breaths.
Imagine your feet are glued to the floor. They're not gonna be able to move, but I'd like you to try to slide the feet together, right? Like in, engage the muscles where that would cause your feet to slide together. Again, the feet don't move, but you're isometrically engaging, and kind of stretching the legs. Slight micro bend in those knees. Bring your hands to your hips and then slowly press the feet down to stand back up again. Good, heel toe, heel toe, feet together. Arms alongside the body, inhaling this moment as it is, all that there is for you here. Exhaling out, gratitude for something. Okay, we're gonna do uh, some poses on our knees. Please go to the chair um, if you have sensitive knees and I'll give a variation for that. Okay, those of you who are okay with being on your hands and knees, you can unfold a, a blanket if you'd like a little padding for your knees. We're simply just gonna go through a variation of Chakra Vakasana where you're basically kind of in a child's pose position and then in a cow position. So. On an exhale, round your back, elbows to the mat, chest to thighs, rear to heels. Really flatten out the back as you come down. On the inhale, come on up through all fours, wrists under shoulders, lifting head and tail. Exhale, round your back, round your spine towards the ceiling, elbows to the mat, Press the breath out, chest to thighs, sitting back to heels. Good, keep moving like that with your breath. And then folks in the chair, you might have already guessed it. You'll just uh, inhale, reaching the arms up overhead, and then exhale, fold over the legs, pressing the breath out. So basically you're just doing the um, pose that we did at the beginning of class, warming up like that. So we're all just, kind of pressing the breath out on the exhale, on the inhale, creating more space in the front of the body to draw uh, and draw in and fold the breath, right? Continue moving, maybe slowing the breath down if you can. And those of you who are on the floor, please make sure that your knees are underneath your hip sockets so that the thighs are parallel, feet are, uh, and shins are parallel as well. Good, now I'd like us to work on lengthening the exhale. So inhaling, And then on an exhale, exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale up for four, three, two, one. Exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale four. Three, two, one. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause wherever you are. Keep breathing nice and slow and at a regular pace. Okay. 
on your next inhale, come on up to sit and just notice the rhythm of their breath. So we're not trying to control their breath anymore. We're just noticing. Excellent. So um, let's fold up our blanket or towel just to make a little bit of a cushion for our hips, just elevating the hips a little bit. If you know your hamstrings are really tight, um, the, the cushion would be higher, right? Um, so extend your left leg in front of you and then bring your right foot to the outside of the left leg. Hugging the shin in, lifting the heart. We're gonna come into Ardha Matsya Andrasana. Uh, I'm going to demo um, a gentler version, but if, of course, you like the bottom leg bent, please get into it. So on your next inhale, reach your right arm up overhead and exhale, right hand back behind you. You're gonna take your left arm and hug that knee. So ideally your head and heart would be aligned over your pelvis. If you feel, um, and check in with the neck. So uh, instead of turning the head right away to the right, uh, maybe turn the head a little bit to the left. Ensure that you're as tall as you can get as you inhale. And once head and heart are aligned, then exhale, turning the head to the right. Any amount. Now pausing here, feeling the length of your spine on the inhale rooting down through the sits bones on the exhale. And I'm gonna invite you to alter your breath patterns here a little bit as we hold this pose. If for whatever reason this doesn't feel like a good fit for you, please just continue to breathe naturally. You're gonna inhale for the count of four. And exhale for the count of four. And then hold the breath out for one or two counts. Then return to inhaling slowly for the count of four. Exhaling for the count of four. Holding the breath out for one or two counts. After those two counts, You'll slowly untwist on the inhale. Maybe a little counter twist if you like. And then we'll kick the right leg out. Just take a moment finding a comfortable seat and just notice the quality of the breath, quality of the mind. Second side, bend your left knee, bring the sole of your left foot to the outside of that outstretched leg. Hugging the shin in, lift the heart. Rooting down through that left foot into the mat. On an inhale, left arm reaches up towards the sky. Get a lot of length on that left side body as you rainbow the hand arm down to the floor behind you, hugging the knee with the right arm. Please take a moment feeling into uh, the length of your spine, untwisting perhaps a little bit if it feels like you're kind of kinked up in some places. It's not uncommon for the head to come forward here. So untwist a little bit, realign yourself. And then on the inhale, feel the length of the spine. And on the exhale, turning the head to the left any amount, head and heart aligned. And here we'll do our breath practice if that resonates. Inhaling for four counts. Exhaling for four counts. Holding the breath out for one or two counts. 
then inhaling four counts. Exhaling four counts. Holding the breath out for one or two counts. Good, the next inhale, gently untwist. Maybe a little counter twist on the exhale if you like. And then come on out of it. Let's come on to our backs. You can come off of your uh, blanket. Oh, and I do encourage you to move your chair out of the way. Settling in to the floor, arms will come alongside the body and draw the thighs into the chest. So my arms are alongside the body, the thighs are into the chest. Notice the curvature of your spine, what areas of the back touch the mat, what areas don't. And see if you can really straighten the spine out, make sure it's nice and long. Inhale, sweep your arms up towards the sky and then to the floor behind you. Exhale, uh, bring the arms back up overhead and then to the floor alongside the body. So this is the arms. We'll do that one more time. Inhaling, sweeping arms up and back. Exhaling, arms up and alongside the body. We're gonna add the legs now. On an inhale, extend the heels towards the sky, sweeping the arms up and back behind you. You're like a capital L letter. Exhale, bending the knees, arms alongside the body. Keep moving with the breath as we lengthen the back of the legs, inviting more breath into the body on the inhale. And the exhale, pushing it out, thighs to chest heels to rear. Keep moving with your breath. And really keep track of how long the inhale and exhale is. Equalize it out. The four to four is a nice place to start. Maybe you wanna do five, five. And insert a pause at the top of the breath and a pause at the bottom. Keep going. Let's do about three more of these. Last one. Good, swing the knees open. Reach between the thighs and you're gonna grab a hold of either your ankles, pressing the soles of the feet together or interlacing the fingers around the outer edges of the feet to help encourage the soles of the feet to press together. You're swinging your knees open like a book and putting some weight in the back of your pelvis towards your tailbone as you swing the knees open, right? So the tendency is that the, the tailbone will really lift away from the floor. That's okay, but try to keep sending weight that direction. Good, 
let the arms straighten out here. The arms are like tethers now, helping pull the shoulders away from the ears. Lengthen the back of the skull away from the back of the heart and slowly turn your head to the right. Using the tether of the left arm to help pull that left shoulder away from ear and inviting in a stretch on the left side of the neck. You can even open your mouth and push the bottom jaw forward to send it up into the, the jaw. And then coming back through center, second side, head rolls left. Pushing that jaw forward. And then coming back through center, go ahead and release the feet. Feet are wide, you're just gonna windshield wiper the knees side to side. So just like windshield wipers, don't touch, neither do your legs. And then pausing, knees going one direction, gently engaging your glutes to increase the stretch in the front of the top thigh. And then second side. Squeezing the glutes again to intensify the stretch in the front of the opposite top thigh now. Good, and then come on back through center. And let's roll to one side, come on up for a seat for just a moment. I'd like you to uh, find your blanket or towel and have a seat on it uh, so that your hips are a little higher than your knees. Now, um, you're sitting cross-legged. If the hamstrings are really tight, um, even if you've like really folded up your blanket as tall as you can, you may find yourself rounding quite a bit. Just go ahead and have a seat in the chair. We're gonna do a little bit of pranayama, a little bit of breath practice. Um, and whenever we're doing uh, breath practices, we wanna have a very tall spine, straight spine. So get yourself straightened out and tall. And um, so this is kind of like a three part uh, breath. It, we're gonna take a deep breath in and then we're gonna exhale one third of the way, pause, exhale one third of the way, pause, and then exhale completely, pause. And then you're gonna do it again. Okay, so nice and tall, broad chest. Exhale completely to begin. Inhale. Exhale one third, pause. Exhale one third, pause. Exhale completely, pause. Inhale, pause. Exhale one third. Pause. Exhale again, one third. Pause. Exhale completely. Again, inhale. Pause. Exhale, one third. Pause, exhale, one third, pause, exhale completely, pause. Do that two or three more rounds on your own. Pausing 
at the top of the breath, the bottom of the breath, and one third, one third, in between each third. Have your next full inhale and a pause. Release and just breathe naturally. Okay, let's come on to lay down for Shavasana or relaxation pose. Please set yourself up in a way that feels most relaxing to you. So if you need to stuff pillows under your legs or your backs of the knees to help release any tension in the low back, please do. Maybe a pillow behind the head if that feels good. Extend the legs long. Letting the feet just flop out to the sides. Now is the time to completely let go, completely allow yourself to sink into the earth. Scan through your body and ensure that you're not holding your body away from the floor in any way. And as you're sinking into your relaxation pose, I will reread the first excerpt of uh, G of the Grace and Possibility from Grace and Possibility and, and complete uh, the reading. So begin by grounding in gratefulness. Wherever you are, however you feel, rest in knowing you're being is a miracle. This moment is full of mystery and there is magic in what you feel, say, and do. Allow gratitude to be a flow of giving and receiving with each breath. Breathing in, you are receiving the miracle of life, the miracle of abundant possibilities, the miracle of all that you are. Breathing out, you are offering gratefulness. Breathing in, you are intimate with the mysteries of life, the mystery of possibilities, the mystery of what will unfold. Breathing out, offering gratefulness. Breathing in, you are connecting to the magic of life, the magic of possibilities, the magic of your actions and imagination. Breathing out, offering gratefulness. Bring one or both hands to the center of your chest over your heart. Feel the space and intimacy of what is here. This is a miracle. This is a mystery. This is where magic happens. Nowhere is more holy, more full of potential, more luminous than this. Rest in the nourishing fullness of gratitude. 
for as long as you like. Let this be the sacred ground upon which you can rest your mind, your body, and your heart. Deepen your breath. Taking your thumb and brushing it across the tips of each of your fingers. Just taking a moment to notice the magic and possibility of what it is to just have hands to be in this human body. And then wiggling your toes, rolling your wrists, ankles, moving the body a little bit more until it culminates into a big morning stretch. And then drawing the knees into the chest, give yourself a hug of gratitude for practicing today. Rolling to one side and using your arms to come up to a comfortable seat of your choice. We'll meet with our palms together in front of our heart. Checking in with the sensations currently arising in your body now. The quality of your mind, your mood, and your breath. If you were able to cultivate any benefit from your practice today, I encourage you to think of someone you'd like to send the benefits of your practice to, maybe somebody who could use a deep breath. Picture them clearly and gather it up on an inhale, send it out on the exhale. See them feeling good, breathing deep. Thank you so much for practicing today. Namaste.